Hello and welcome to my session about very important topic. So basically I want to present myself for my my name is Alexander, I am a freelancer, here you have my contact information if you have any questions, what kind of services I do provide, software development for my clients, project analysis, creating automatic unit tests, advising companies and helping people to get higher and uh, the permanent positions in German companies. And I sometimes participate at hackathons and do some workshops for my clients. So anyway. This is all about me and now I want to discuss following topic. So basically it goes like this. I want to discuss topic why we have not enough developers in the world in general. So I have here the candidate. The candidate can have a degree or not a degree in the computer science. It depends. Um, he goes to the company now he goes to the technical talk and now it's basically pretty interesting because here you have knowledge requirements I don't know what a second knowledge requirements of the people who are interviewing the guy and then you have the guy himself his knowledge requirements can be less and there can be or possibly not cannot be a kind of area where the knowledge are the same experience quite different and and such and such and most of the companies test such persons like you have whiteboard you have the guy who's standing there and trying to explain the stuff and most times it's, it's it is so that is kind of pretty nervous situation for the guy who is interview because the the problem which he gets on the whiteboard not always understandable because it can be pretty company uh, dependent not in general case so the guy explains on the whiteboard how he would solve given task in my point of view it's a waste of time i say it not once again it's a waste of time both of your company and the candidate so I say don't do such practices and that's why I have founded the whiteboard no whiteboard tech interview community and anyone who participates in the whiteboard no whiteboard tech interview community should say following I will never knowingly or unknowingly go into tech interview where my tech knowledge would be tested on the whiteboard, physical or virtual, because it's pointless. I will not support companies, authors which sell courses on and or books about how to solve whiteboard tech interview questions, because it's pointless. I will not help people who are preparing for whiteboard tech interview because they are definitely losing time and not gaining any any efficient skills. Four, I will not test candidates which apply for the IT job by the whiteboard tech interview and I would not help colleagues which adhere to such bad practices. So I say basically uh, I don't wish to teach people bad practices uh, and what I can teach about I can teach about people how to write good software uh, good software quality code. So and other people which adhere to this um, no whiteboard tech interview community, they do accept that you can teach people how to program, but not how to solve primitive or not primitive uh, tasks on whiteboards. Five, if management high or middle or direct requests me to do a whiteboard tech interview, I would immediately refuse to do it because I have accepted this oath. When I, as CEO or CTO, will discover that somebody in the company adhere to such bad practices, I immediately would fire such person because it's not fair practice and don't show any actual knowledge of the candidate. So I say, I would repeat myself, but I say following, I think it is right to say the person who get hired for how a person can be tested, I say the person can be tested in the 
pair programming interview style and I will describe it later but I say it's it is there actually a solution how to test persons seven furthermore I will publicly advertise for the no whiteboard tech interview practices so more IT professionals and future IT professionals will discover this community and make this off to a default IT industry standard for hiring IT professionals so I want to advertise and I am doing this that many companies try, try right now in such difficult times and think about how we can hire fast developers and get most of it so this is what I'm claim uh, this off is my free choice because I strongly believe in best software craftsmanship practices and agile software development which is a best solution for all modern technology challenges and by supporting this off I do my part to solve the problem of not enough software developers in the world that's right so here you have my site and you can always reach it hopefully and here you can sign it is this kind of off and let me introduce you following what kind of solutions you can do to actually interview the people and let me quickly delete it delete it and right now I want to present you my solution so basically now in my case when I hired to do a job interview for the company I would follow the following I invite person to the interview and it is a tech interview I just let me quickly draw it so it is client so to say and the same goes to me I need to draw me like I don't know like this pretty simplified but so that is right that is me and it goes like this I give him a task we have one big or or not screen and then we have a computer it can be a laptop which is connected which is connected to the big screen and me and and the client the candidate we trying we open here a code editor code editor code editor and it takes one hour on um, to evaluate the knowledge of the candidate so and we just work like re regularly on the laptop I even suggest who start doing the task first and uh, I when the client says probably you should start I say no problem I write some initial code and ask the, the, the candidate to, f to follow my uh, thinking pattern and write the code and it goes like for about one hour and after one hour I see how where a candidate weak points or strong points are and I think it's basically pretty fair because you have internet you have code editor uh, I can actually see how the person will work at the regular job and then I can get good estimate so what to expect in when this person would work for the actual company where company hired me to do such interview and this is the best way to to verify that the person which you want to get know stuff and sometimes I just I even propose um, if the task which I have can be publicly released to the github for example I say now after one hour like do you wish to check it out into the code versioning system and the person agree I even create 
we we create quickly his um, GitHub account if it does not have any, and then his code on the GitHub. So it's pretty pretty satisfying for the both parties, and it's pretty fair. I will say it's pretty fair. And basically that is it. I spoke about my off today. No whiteboard interview. So I claim once again that there are no need for the whiteboard interviews. And people can be tested just by the pair programming. It is required that the both persons are programmers. It is required that both people can good, have good communication skills. But I think this is a probably probably only one way to do the tech interview. You can actually try to do the interview without actual implement implementation, but the problem is you don't see the code of the person. And it's kind of difficult to see how this person would actually behave in real life situations. And this kind of pair pair programming interview we get enough uh, pair programming and this will probably get enough data for you to evaluate and to see how the person strong in his skills and this is it uh, thank you for watching this this is my first official statement I prepared myself and I say companies in the world, IT companies or companies which have IT departments, think about this. I mean, how many candidates you lost because some stupid uh, idea about whiteboard interview was uh, available in the company. And yeah, this is it. Thank you. Hit the button, subscribe and leave a comment under the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you.